We've worked for, on loads of things together for years, so uh, we've got a really lovely shorthand. We've known each other for the best part of all mates, like three or four decades. <laughs> maybe not, <laughs> maybe. No, not that old. No, 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 honestly. <laughs> yeah. So, it, it, yeah, it's, it's just brilliant. So, to get to work with your friends on something that's so huge, and then see your friend deliver something monumentally difficult uh, as a first film and movie and foray into, into doing that is, is exceptional and what a, what a wonderful experience to have. London. You're here with your bestie. I was thinking about this. Was it Bronson the first kind of? Uh, no, was actually, it even before? It was even before that. We were working on lots of um, TV show ideas together and going out on pitching and um, and just you know trying to get on the floor and and trying to work. And then I, uh, Bronson was the first thing that we kind of actually that that got made that we did together. There's something quite special being able to go on a journey like this through your career with a best friend. Um, yes. Do you have a moment where you both take that in and think, oh my God, look where we were. And today we're at the IMAX in London and this is crazy. We do, there, there are moments, there have been moments on the set where we're like, oh my God, you know, as we step into like a three story set that's like the size of a hangar and we're, and, and we're kind of blown away by it. Um, but there are also moments that we still feel the same as we did 20 odd years ago and that we're still in the video shop you know we're not we're, we're not different we're the same people um, and we've been so lucky to kind of walk alongside each other through this career and um, and it's very unique <coughs> and special i love that and i know these films and especially for you because you've been part of it from the beginning both of you have it's always about the fans yes. they're at the top of your mind today you're spending loads of time signing and you're like oh we want to meet the fans and then yes. we want to in talk to you no i'll go back around okay. but how nervous excited you feel it's out this weekend in uk cinemas that they're going to be satisfied because it's the end of an era for this particular trilogy yes well, we just hope we've done them proud you know we put our hearts and souls into it and um and it's for them and, and we hope they love it can i also quickly ask you about the baddie um obviously we've had thanos and we had kang and then we've got doctor Do um doctor doom of course um with robert downey jr how is this baddie going to compare because i am so excited he's the biggest and the baddest baddie <laughs> can't compare it i think there's been a lot of like Sometimes with superhero films, they get like flack, but then I think Deadpool and Wolverine did something beautiful. Love, and I yeah, and I think Venom it. is about to do the same. Yeah. Um, how do you feel about that and where these films sit within the landscape of cinema? You know, I think I, I love where I, I love these superhero movies. I think that they're amazing, and I did love Deadpool <laughs> and Wolverine as well. I think Venom's kind of his own thing. He's very unique, um, and I'm not sure that he does sit necessarily in a superhero world. He kind of is a bit retro and um, just a little bit different to everything else. And, I, and, and maybe that's why people love him. You know, I do it again in a heartbeat, but my time's up and we've had great fun doing them. Um, so, you know, sending loads of love to anybody who's next to come and do it or if they call us back. <laughs> yeah.